Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to our spectators present tonight. Before we go any further, I would like to introduce myself first. My name is Dato Dr. Muhammad Faid bin Razali, representing from University Utara Malaysia as moderator tonight. On our program tonight, there are nine panels representing their respective universities. Introduce the first panel is Prof. Rizme from University Malaya. The second panel is Dr. Alif Aiman from University Malaysia Kelantan. The third panel is Dr. Kamarul from University Malaysia Terengganu. The fourth panel is Dr. Nasuha from UITM. The fifth panel is Dr. Ang from University Lim Kok Wing. The sixth panel is Dr. Nazira from University Malaysia Sarawak. The fifth panel, the seven sorry, the seven panel is Dr. Fazira from University Malaysia Sabah. And the second last panel is Dr. Aiman from University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Also, but last but not least, the panel from UMC Sain Malaysia is Dr. Kamalia. All this panel will discuss the topic of challenge of managing employees' performance and performance appraisal during pandemic COVID-19. In order not to take a long time, I will ask a question to Prof. Rizme. What, yeah, Prof. Rizme, what the Prof can explain to us on this topic we want to discuss? Can you answer this question, sir? Thank you to Mr. Moderator. So, I will discuss about what is employee management and performance appraisal. An employee performance management system is a means to ensure that every employee work in a manner which is aligned with organization's goals and which ensure that the employee reach his maximum potential on the job. The performance management system is implemented by heads of departments and all managers. Employee performance management will describe to employees how to manage their performance over time to ensure that they remain productivity and hopefully become even more capable as they progress in their career. So, we need to ensure that our human resource perform at the highest possible level. There are few factors that affecting employee performance. First is employee knowledge, second is employee skill, third is employee motivation and last is employee environment. Employee performance management is also important in the work performed by employees according to the scope of their skill. If the head of the company puts a job that does not fit the scope of the employee, then there will be a lot of problem due to lack of skill inability of employees to do the thing. For example, should individuals who venture into the field of accountants work in the promotion department? So, it is very inappropriate because it does not fit the scope of their work. Next, I will explain about performance appraisal. Performance appraisal is a formal structured system of measuring and evaluating an employee job, related behavior, and accounts to discover how and why the employee is presently performing on the job and how the employee can perform more effectively in the future so that the employee, organization, and society all benefit. Performance appraisal has been focus of considerable research for almost a century, yet this research has resulted in very few specific recommendations about designing and implementing appraisal and performance management system whose goal is performance improvement. The benefits of appraisal system is encourage quality performance by rewarding those who do well and next improve current performance by giving workers feedback. Next is assist in identifying training needs, provide documentation if disciplinary proceedings are needed, provide a channel of communication between managers and their subordinates. Among the advantages of performance appraisal is to ensure that employees are still committed in performing their duties. In addition, 
To being able to recruit more consistent group in performing tasks, it is also to ensure that managers identify employees who are still eager to work or not. So, that is explanation about performance management and performance appraisal. So, I will pass it to the Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Prof. Rizme, for his opinion on this topic. Next, Dr. Alif Ayman, what is the benefit of an employee performance management and appraisal system on this topic? You can answer this question, Dr. Alif. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Thank you, moderator, for question. Based on the uh, on the topic discussed, namely man, uh, managing employee performance and performance appraisal, which is uh, which is uh, discussed about benefit of an employee performance manage, management and appraisal uh, system. Okay. Uh, based on this title, benefit of an employee performance manage, uh, management and appraisal system explain the benefit of preventing employee performance. It is uh, advised for the, the employer or uh, manager to observe the behavior and performance of the current employer in COVID-19. Manager need to open the, uh, the eyes to potential high performance and low performance employer. This man uh, management system is employer be uh, employers because uh, to ensure, to ensure this, uh, this employer follow company rules and formalize natural process and make, and make this team more efficient. This is because some employer still, uh, still wake up. <coughs> uh, this is because some employer will, will take the opportunity to, uh, not to, uh, not to do their work. Is in this COVID-19 virus uh, situation. Okay. However, some experts have uh, commented on uh, on this matter where there is about the effect, uh, effective of the key element uh, in the performance management system, namely the evolution of uh, the performance of an employer. A view, uh, a view uh, that uh, revolves around the around an extreme strongly supportive view of uh, of a problem related to employee performance problem. Uh, Wise a manager can track his employee performance problem and continue to take uh, to take step uh, to take a step to overcome the uh, problem and rebalance to employer behavior and feel something new in this uh, in his or <coughs> her work relationship in our company. This, uh, this is because uh, some co uh, some company are willing to to spend with a million ringgit to introduce a performance management and ev evolution system in COVID-19. This is just uh, to ensure that this system helps to management in the company. Okay, uh, they not, uh, do not need to find new maturity or system and address to employ performance problem. Okay, uh, that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ali from UMK about your opinion. Oh yeah, Dr. Kamarul. How your opinion about this topic also for the benefit? Can you answer this question, Dr. Kamarul? Okay, in Forbes magazine, uh, just present writer, the col columnist which uh, is the headline Think, uh, Time Thinking for Obstruction Performance Appreciation okay. Time has chance and more component has decided to uh, radically uh, change their performance appreciation process He gives the follower following list of issue okay first uh, employees net and one uh, prior uh, periodic uh, feedback daily or weekly so review uh, reviewing once a year is not only late but often pricing regular guidance is the key to the 
coordination and for performance. Okay. Next, um, why some will some worker are unhealthy and are likely to perform poorly? Uh, this problem should be addressed immediately, not at the end of the year. Okay. In addition, uh, Dr. Goh Cheng Leong, Vice President of Aid University College, explained their problems relate to performance appreciation in an article in the Star. He said the problem was not in the concept. Uh, the problem is in implementation. Many staff appreciation meeting become mainly exercise simple because he use full information is exchanged. Okay. Dr. Goh give three reasons for the for this session. Okay, first, uh, many superiors only accept achieve goal. The boss do not distinguish distinguish be, between what has been achieved and how it has been achieved. Why the latter is more viable. Many okay two. Many superiors is not really observe his staff without uh, sufficient information. The boss club not have his subordinate improved. Okay, next, many superiors are dishonest with their staff. They are uh, unfair to give a correct assessment. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Kamarul from University Malaysia Terengganu for the opinion you made just now. Okay, we go to the fourth panel. Before we rest for a while, which is Dr. Nasuha from UITM. What do you think of the challenge faced by the company in managing matters related to employee evolutions and performance during this COVID-19? Can you give your opinion, Doctor? Assalamualaikum. Uh, I am Panel 5 and I will talk about uh, the challenges in managing employee performance and uh, performance appraisal during this uh, pandemic COVID-19. Uh, as we already know, because of the current situation of pandemic COVID-19, a lot of people have to work from uh, their home. Uh, so, in terms of managing the employee performance and uh, performance appraisal, the managers has a uh, difficulty to observe their employee performance and ensure that their employee performance uh, meet the quality and quantity standard because uh, everyone are not in the same places everyone have to uh, work in different places uh, so the, the managers cannot monitor uh, the employee work performance and give them feedback on their works okay join us again in our forum show tonight in the state of a new normal made online Okay, we go to the next panel. Is Doctor Ang from Lim Kok Wing. I would like also like to know Doctor opinion on the challenge faced by the company in managing the performance and evaluations of employee during COVID nineteen. Can you give your opinion, Doctor Ang? Thank you for asking me that question. Uh, in my opinion, I personally think that man maintaining our employees' health and safety is actually one of the challenges that we have to face during this pandemic of COVID-19. Because uh, if we don't make sure that our, our employees are healthy, we might have a chance of infecting our customers with COVID-19 as well. So we have to like follow all the SOPs uh, provided by the government, make sure they have checked up their health, 
uh, scan their their, uh, their their temperature before they enter their work and uh, scan the QR code and everything. With these procedures, we actually can maintain our employee safety and health as well. So, one of the ch other challenges is that we have to also uh, stay competitive in between companies because actually during this pandemic, a lot of companies will not be able to like carry out their performance or like products as, uh, as well as they used to be. And uh, companies such as like uh, Massimo or Gardenia, they are actually an essential company because they provide us breads and other food items as well and uh, if they don't have like a sustainable workforce or like able to have a method of maintaining their product line production line they won't be able like to keep up with the demand from uh, the customers or like uh, being staying competitive in the in the market and uh, they might fall into bankruptcy if they this continues so actually i think and therefore i think that um Health and uh, staying competitive in this pandemic is actually very important for us to to keep up our performance in the company. That's all for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ang, about your opinion. And I also want to ask the same question to Dr. Kamalia. How about your opinion, Dr. Kamalia? Assalamualaikum. I'm Nur Kamalia, my Aruf. On the panel 4, I would like to discuss about the challenges of managing employee performance and performance appraisal during pandemic COVID-19. First and foremost, as we are known, pandemic COVID-19 gives a big impact for every sector and industry all around the world. It is because uh, the virus is easily spread out if we are not follow all the SOP given. Uh, so, one of the... Uh, sector that affected by pandemic COVID-19 is employment sector. Actually, there are a lot of challenges for employer to manage the employee performance and performance appraisal during pandemic COVID-19. The first challenges is the difficulty in communication between employer and employee. As we are known, pandemic COVID-19 make us to start everything in a new normal situation in our life. For example, everything we must work from home and do it in online. This situation quite hard for employer to manage their employee performance because they are not in face-to-face -face environment, but they must to slowly adapt the situation. So, as we can see that communication is the most important thing between employer and employee because everything must be discussed and communicate together about the planning, uh, decision making, job instruction and else. Although this is the biggest challenges for the employer to manage their employee performance and performance appraisal, but they must to face it impatiently. Thank you Dr. Kamalia about your opinions. I think it's very nice. Okay, not to waste the time. We continue with the next panel which is Dr. Nazira from University Malaysia Sarawak. The question I want to ask doctor is what strategies can be done to face the challenge? Doctor, have any suggestions? Hi, I'm Panel 7. Alright, next I will talk about strategy. What strategy that employer can be taken for the challenges? The first strategy is employer need to manage meeting with the employees in stage. So as we know, due to this pandemic, all of employees need to work online and work at home. So this will make it very difficult for employers to communicate with their employees, especially to discuss about their performance. Thus, employers need to arrange meeting with the employees and this can be help employer directly to discussing various matters related to employees. And this strategy will make it easy for employer to manage the employee's performance and performance appraisal. So besides that, with this space meeting, it facilitates employer and employees 
from online meeting. So indirectly, it also makes it easy for employees who have internet network problem to attend the online meeting. Okay, thank you, Dr. Nazira. Nice opinion, I think. Okay, Dr. Fazira, how about your opinion with the same question? Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Fazira and I am candidate at I will discuss about the strategy that can be done by employee for the next challenge. As we know, the spread of COVID-19 that lead to death can that drastically change people's life include the employee. They had work from home even the office are closed. Even we like it or not, our lifestyle was changed. So this forum is about how the employer can monitor their workers even they have to work from home. The first opinion is we can create the link portal so the employee can submit their work at the exact time. This way will make sure they always did their job and employer can easily evaluate the employee work result. In addition, employer also can monitor employee discipline in their job. Other way is, employer can use Google Meet application to arrange meeting with the staff. So, they will easily discuss about job scope or if there were any problem. The employer should always monitor the employee so that they can improve. It is not possible to wipe the pandemic over. It will too late until the day will come because this pandemic seems not going away. The company should flexible and use every way they could. The employees should flexible evaluating these workers. Sometimes they will do mistake. Due to pandemic, everyone learning a new skill. They have never been trained. So, flexibility among workers and employers is so much important. That's only from me. Thank you. Wow, thank you Dr. Fazira about your nice opinion. Last but not least, I want to ask Dr. Aiman from University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Your opinion Dr. Aiman about what strategies the company have used to, to avoid the problem? Can you answer this, this question, Doctor? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, moderator, for having me today. First of all, I will introduce myself. My name is Ayman Khairi bin Zulkanain, and I'm a doctor from University of Bangsa Malaysia, UKM. And why am I here today? Today, I will talk about the strategy to managing employee performance and performance pressure during pandemic COVID-19. Okay, the strategy to remain employee safe during the pandemic COVID-19 is making sure our facility, our workplace is fully clean, disinfected and equipped with a blueprint for maintaining safe condition. For more detail, implemented hygiene and cleanliness policies like develop a COVID-19 prevention plan, including action or checklist for infection prevention, a special cleaning and disinfection plan and implemented protocol and guideline for staff health. The main reason is to implement staff preparedness during the pandemic. Then setting setting up a support system in place for employees as they return to work and adjust to new realities and emotional changes presented by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is for maintaining the mental health of employee. Okay, then the other strategy to maintain an employee to stay competitive is giving employee the benefit of their needs, such as paid leave, flexibility, employee assistance program, and healthcare coverage. This can reduce employee financial stress and maintaining their productivity and sustainable workforce. Okay, that's all for the strategy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aiman, about your opinion. Before we end of our forum season tonight, can Prof. Rizme give some conclusion on the matter we have discussed tonight?
can you answer this the prof resume thank you again for mr moderator so from the talk about employee performance and performance appraisal i can describe that performance appraisal system is a useful management tool which helps to gain feedback review and estimate whether the performance is effective and discuss what need to be done for it to become so managers perform evaluation to benefit both employee and employer the most significant benefit of the appraisal system for the manager or the head of department is that it provides a document employee performance over a specific period this also helps in maintaining job performance to employee it is made as a very useful assessment to them in the job after doing the evaluation the manager can raise a position the employee this makes workers happier and happier in their work in addition it can be said that the head of departments can further strengthen the relationship between employees this is because the head can get to know his employees more closely after making assessment as the head of the company of course they will give contribution and appreciation of their employee such as giving vacation bonus and so on this can not only give employees a comfortable to work but can also produce employees who are sincere in working because of the behavior shown by the boss to them so that's all from me thank you thank you prof rizme for your opinion alhamdulillah our forum is over tonight thanks to the panel representing each university for giving very effective opinions thank also to the audience for being loyal to us from the beginning to the end of the program last word i want to say follow the sop always use face mask where you go this covid-19 pandemic to can continue the spread we are together hashtag stay at home thank you